Ministry of Defence have not explained why they have concealed this very vital, critical piece of information when the flight reverted into Malaysia, into the mainland. The system is so opaque, and anyone questioning, like me doing so, in Parliament and outside Parliament, are condemned to be a politicising or anti-national. Today, Friday, prayers were said for the missing. Some religious leaders here have said that families should start thinking about performing funeral rites. Hope might be fading, but the need for answers isn't. What has happened, we don't know yet. We want to know something about this. I want to believe to that news. I was, I read that uh, the people I like, and uh, they just, uh, they wanted to... But you want, you want to believe the good news, even though yes, your government has yes. prepared you yes. for the worst? Yes. I don't know what happened to the plane. Only Allah knows. We leave to God. One word we've heard more than any other probably over the past four weeks is the word unprecedented. At times it's often felt like justification for failure. What has been unprecedented though is the amount of scrutiny, both domestic and international, that the Malaysian government has come under. And naturally, political opponents have sought to exploit that. One of the many theories to have done the rounds had its roots in politics. It is that the plane's captain, a supporter of the opposition party, was upset that the opposition leader was convicted of sodomy hours before the flight took off. Something raised by the opposition leader, Anwar Ibrahim, speaking on Sky News. Is it a crime for someone to know me? Is it a crime for someone who believes in an independent judiciary and not a corrupt or opaque, opaque system? Now, uh, uh, Zahari is known to me, related to my daughter-in-law, good family, and uh, a very decent man that I know of. So, uh, investigate by all means, but do not uh, uh, condemn an innocent man and form to unreasonable conclusion. The government will scrutinise itself in due course. A Royal Commission of Inquiry, a Parliamentary Select Committee, and an international tribunal, whatever that might be, have all been variously promised. But for now, there is still a plane to be found. Alistair Buckley, Sky News, Kuala Lumpur. So joins us now from Kuala Lumpur. Alistair, with possibly days to go before the black box stops emitting this signal, are the Malaysian authorities still hopeful of finding the plane?